Actually, I'm not. I bet Neil knows why it was called Brown. There's, there's a guy. There's a guy who, first, who first, first talked about the statistical. It, but, right. Observed it, but yeah. didn't fully understand it. Right. Mr. So Brown. Mr. We've Brown. all observed it. So you go to a window, the dustier the house, the better. You pull the curtains aside and you start to see all the particles move around. They don't fall like rain, they bounce around. The dust the particles. Air. The yeah. dust particles. Mm-hmm. And you can see the reflection of the dust in the air. You know, it's a, kind of a beautiful image, the sight, sunlight hitting. Uh, reflecting off the dust of an particles. Undusted apartment. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. of grandma's. My OCD is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Clean that. Yeah, why have so, you let it go so long? <laughs> so, but we all have had that observation, and we all know it doesn't yeah. fall like rain. Mm-hmm. So, Einstein also relates this to the quantum nature of matter. He says, fundamentally, air is not a continuum. If I look at it at the microscopic level, I'm going to realize it's made up of individual molecules, and the molecules are moving randomly because they're knocking into each other, they're bouncing around. He called that Brownian motion. So they bounce around randomly because they're kind of constantly knocking it, banging into each other as they move around. And um, it was more evidence for the quantum nature of of reality in very early 